On today's episode of In The Know, we'll be exploring inventory enhancements within QuickBooks Online. Here's what to expect. You'll see an Intuit product leader give a deep dive demo. Then you'll hear from pro advisors, Nio Carter Gray and Aaron Vukulik, who weigh in on how they help their inventory based clients. Hey, bro advisors, I'm Jacqueline, and you're watching In The Know. It's the show designed to keep you in the know on the most exciting updates to QuickBooks Online. So here's the scoop. We heard that the functionality around inventory management needed to be improved in order to meet the needs of inventory-based businesses who use QuickBooks Online. So we're introducing variants and inventory counts. Also, you can now import products and inventory directly from sales channels in order to accurately track cost of goods sold. And now for the fast facts. These enhancements are available to US users of QuickBooks Online on the plus and advanced tiers. To access it, navigate to sales, then products and services. We've been rolling out this functionality gradually since September of 2023, and it'll be live to all users as of summer of 2024. If you find this update interesting or helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. We'll hear now from Intuit product leader, Keith. Keith, welcome to the show. Looking forward to seeing the demo. Thank you so much for having me, Jacqueline. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to share what we've done for inventory uh, over the last few months here and, and share some of these updates. So first thing that we're gonna go into uh, when we get into inventory is the introduction of a bunch of new features. Uh, specifically, we get into the introduction of variants. Uh, so this is a new introduction for QBO. Um, variants, when you think of product-based businesses, this is the introduction of getting that one level deeper uh, to the products that your clients are selling. So you can see the screenshot on the left-hand side. Uh, we see an example of the water bottle. Now it comes in two different size variations and that's what you actually track the inventory of. Um, so the product itself is really that parent level and then the variants become the child, which has the information like the SKU, the quantity that's on hand, the cost, the price, and all of that important uh, detail that you need to know. So when we launch this introduction of variants, uh, this also allows us to not just track all of uh, this information, but a bunch of new fields that are now introduced. Uh, it also allows us to manage the products via two ways. You can either import these via a CSV import, um, manage them, of course, manually within QuickBooks, uh, or connect one of the existing sales channels and bring in all that detail from Shopify or from Amazon, and it will automatically import your products and create them in that same structure of your products and your variants. Um, along with all of this, we've introduced uh, notifications to know when your inventory is running low and when it's out of stock. And again, you'll see on the left-hand side at the top, we have the two indications uh, marking down which products are out of stock, which products are low in stock, and that easily allows you to filter that table and convert that into a purchase order uh, to replenish your inventory. Next feature that we're gonna go into uh, is the updates we have to the existing sales channel integrations when we look at importing sales orders, the product catalog, and all the fulfillment information. So what we've done here is we've made some updates to our sales channel integrations across Shopify, Amazon, eBay, and now Etsy. Uh, to allow for the automatic import of your entire catalog from all of these channels. So let's say you sell the same product across Shopify and Amazon. You want to have one catalog in QBO. It allows you to import those products, match them with what already exists in QBO, and create a single source of truth for the inventory. Along with the sales orders importing, uh, they are also now the ability to create them as invoices linked to those inventory items, so your clients can automatically track their cost of goods sold. And then as the fulfillment statuses come in from these channels and the orders are fulfilled, you'll see that there's not just the quantity on hand, but there's also a quantity that's on sales order yet to be fulfilled and the available quantity that's left to sell. So this allows you to get a deeper understanding of what you can sell and what's available uh, to actually sell to your clients. Um, versus what is physically on hand and stored in your warehouse. And then as these payments come in, uh, you'll see that the payments are coming in and marking those invoices as paid. Uh, importantly, this is also broken down by payment gateway. So if your clients sell on a channel like Shopify, you can now see the breakdown of not just your Shopify payments, but those that are paid via other forms of payment like PayPal 
or cash manual transactions, those are all separated into their own clearing account. Great, and then our third release that we have uh, is inventory counts. Um, so inventory counts is a complete new uh, transaction that we've introduced in QBO. Uh, this allows your clients to perform an actual cycle count of their inventory. So you can think at the end of a month, end of a quarter, end of a year, they're physically counting everything they have on hand and comparing that to what they have recorded in their books. Uh, this allows them to open up and get real-time inventory count of all of their products uh, either a select few or they could do a bulk add of all of their items. Um, this is something that they can do progressively in a workflow. So they can take the inventory count. They may have to physically count their inventory over multiple hours or multiple days. They can save this down. They can come back to it later, complete it. And you'll see on the screen here, it'll show you your current product and the quantity on hand. It'll allow you to enter in what the new quantity is and what you've just recorded. And then it will show you the quantity change, either the plus or the minus from what was recorded in the system. And that's the update we have for inventory updates in QBO. Uh, thank you so much for having me, Jacqueline. And I will pass it back over to you in the studio. All right. Thank you so much, Keith. That was fantastic. We'll turn now to our pro advisors, Nayo and Aaron, to hear what they have to say. Nayo, Aaron, thanks so much for being here and for hanging out on In the Know. Hey, Jacqueline. Thank you. <laughs> and Aaron. <laughs> well, today we're diving into inventory and talking about some exciting updates, including being able to keep track of inventory variants. Nayo, let me start with you. Why is this such a big deal? Man, especially if you have clients that have products, this will be super cool to keep track of all the different styles or sizes of whatever product it is that they're selling. So like in my case, we work a lot with service-based uh, businesses, but every once in a while they'll throw something out there like they want to sell some t-shirts or some merch at an upcoming uh, speaking engagement. And so, you know, just thinking about we got one t-shirt, but we got multiple sizes really understanding how many and which size is going to be important for them so that wh whomever's working their vendor table won't, won't sell out or they'll be able to accurately keep track of what they have on hand. Uh, so it's, that's in my practice is going to be like huge because this isn't something we've been able to work into our advisory moments. But now I'm like, my wheels are spinning. <laughs> I totally agree. Uh, I think in the past, um, inventory has always been like manufacturing restaurants, you know, they have inventory on hand, but more and more companies in professional services, um, like dog grooming are creating merch to have for sale. Uh, so I think having this inventory system inside QuickBooks with the ability to do the different variants is it's so incredibly important, especially when, you know, more and more people are selling stickers. Erin, you brought up an interesting point a bit earlier in conversation about how this might also help with retailers who are taking a multi-channel approach. Could you unpack yeah, that a bit? Definitely. So if you have a, a client who's selling through Amazon and Shopify and Etsy, uh, multiple different channels. Um, it can be hard to make sure you have that, that, you know, that accurate inventory count by it all aggregating into QuickBooks. You can see exactly what's on hand. You can make sure you don't uh, sell oversell your stock uh, accidentally. Um, but yeah, it's uh, huge to have that information aggregated into one place. So you don't have to check three different or four different websites to see what you have on hand. Okay, so Aaron brought up a keyword, which is information. And Niall, you already brought up advisory. So Niall, how does having this better information on hand enable you to deliver better advisory insights? So we can look at things like which shirts or which sizes are selling the best. Which ones are you holding on to the longest, right? Um, and, and we can use those moments to, to do things like maybe my client needs to go negotiate with whomever they're purchasing the products from and say, hey, if we buy more in this size, can we get a better discount? Um, or if they're holding on to shirts longest, could be 
might be time to put those things on sale. Um, mm -hmm. So there are, are a lot of insights we can draw from just really understanding what's selling, uh, when it's selling, how long how or how fast it's selling out. Um, I know Aaron deals with this more than I do, but those just are, are just some of the ways I can think of like right off the top of my head. <laughs> Yeah, the other part that I think we can also talk about is our pricing. Uh, if you notice something's really selling really quick um, and then start comparing your margins to, you know, what is selling, you can see like, well, maybe it's selling quick because it's not priced appropriately. Um, or do we just need to reevaluate where our prices are compared to the costs uh, and having accurate uh accurate inventory information is going to be great. Erin, do you have a fluffy friend next to you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> she has joined us and I didn't know how to kick her out. Uh, <laughs> she's a welcome guest on the show. And if she has something to say about inventory, I invite her. I mean, already she has shared some thoughts. So apologies. <laughs> <laughs> I think really what she's trying to say is she needs to be a star on the show and we need to see her <laughs> fluffy face, right? I mean, she kind of is the queen of the house. So yes, she wants to be the center of attention. <laughs> <laughs> well, Erin, Naya, thanks so much for hanging out on In the Know and for dropping some serious knowledge about inventory and how this can lead to advisory conversations. So great to have you. Thanks again. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In The Know and leader of ProAdvisor training and certification. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.